Better sit down, not fall off my chair. Okay, guys, it's because I was doing so much dancing. Okay? We were having so much fun. I was dancing with a pumpkin, just, you know, letting the child free, having a great time. Celebrating. It's Hallow's Eve. And there's magic tonight as well, right? And we know that the moon is the most powerful three days before, three days after, and of course, during lit right but you know i find that when you're called to do what you're called to connect with the connection's the connection and we're always connected no matter what to past present and future it's just where are we active where are we active and like meditation is we're actively mindful of the moment we're aware we've slowed down time we're we're understanding it's like so so much of our lives we live we live in the past and the future and we have to be constantly like pulling ourselves back down to be mindful it's part of waking up and you know speaking of dancing with the pumpkin and having all this grand fun and you know every hallows eve we always decorate the pumpkins we carve the jack we carve the jack-o-lanterns it's been a tradition in my family since I was a child, my mom would come home from work. We'd get the pumpkins all ready. We'd carve them. And I mean, we were always looking forward to this occasion for so many reasons. To dress up. I mean, it's such uh, the night we're connected to the mystery. The night, it's like that mis mischievous electricity. And there's where the path of the moon fits in. It's like those wolves on either side. It's just like, or whatever on whatever tarot card we're talking about there's always some sort of symbolism for like if we fall off the path we're food for lower vibrations and we're lost within the mystery and the all is the all <laughs> and for all of you that go there you know exactly what i'm talking about and when I was dancing and having all this fun, you know, I we went to get this costume. I always try to be mindful of like my hole in my back. I have a hole in my back. So I was in a tobogganing accident and I crashed into a tree and I, the tree impa in, impaled my spine. And when I was 11 and it happened on New Year's Eve. So I'm always trying to find clothes that are comfortable so that my spinal injury is happy and I feel like I'm healing. And as I was dancing, I was really realizing, you know, just the stigma and what I was wearing about Halloween and, you know, the feminine being a woman and like, it's like, are you a slut? Are you a whore? What kind of costume are you wearing? And it's just like the attention that we have, like, it's like, you know, the masculine, we're healing from this force right and it's connected to our impulses and it's just like that raw like you know you see the feminine and i mean wow you know wow and we've been programmed to think in a lustful in a very lustful way that's where we've been in the past now it's changing things are changing we're creating a new we're building new earth it is happening but it's just like you know it's like you know the sexy vixen and you know the masculine energy just has to have it and you know we have to honor some of that some of that is natural but it's been warped and twisted here and you know what just because you know a woman is showing certain parts of her body doesn't mean that any type of violence and abuse is okay and we have to heal our perceptions of the programming we have to look at things for what they are what is the intention you know, what is the attention of what the person was doing? I went and bought this costume because I wanted to have a, a couple of them. We're doing a couple of things. You know, with this pandemic, we're doing what we're doing over here to heal, harmonize, and raise the vibes. Whatever we feel called to do. And you know what? I was called towards this one and I'm going to be a witch tomorrow. And I'm having a lot of fun with my son. I get to be in creation with my son every day. How blessed and lucky am I? And to teach him how to create anew. And to be woke and to not let the world condition him. 
And by the world, I mean what has happened in old earth. Now, new earth is here. It is being built. You know what? And it's been built through a lot of pain. We're honoring that. It's like, uh, I even heard on my YouTube, I like, like, you know, the little infomercials. And there was a gentleman talking about the fact that, you know, he had this massive pain story growing up as a child. He couldn't watch, I mean, he had to watch his mom suffer from an illness. And she had to fight for her right to heal. It was just reflected back to me, my story exactly of myself and why I'm here. I watched my father's right to heal get taken away from him. And so, and then I got hurt when I was 11 years old and I fought and I fought and I fought to get back to always honor healing and, you know, in honoring I'm a star seed and having some of my path reflected back to me and gifted to me within the 3D, just finding out, you know, I'm Arcturian and that's healing with the body. That's learning how to heal with the body. So right there, I was impacted at a very young age. And guys, I never get lost in the labels. I don't want to. You know, I'm very clear with Source. I'm here for my mission and I want to feel some of these feelings. I'm a feeler. I'm a... I'm a Pisces, right? And I'm a Pisces and an Aquarius, moon sign. So woo. Woo. Talk about two opposite energies coming together to unite. But that's the old and the new. This is exactly what I, you know, what I came here to do with this expansion and I honor it. And, you know, I honor why I'm here with you guys. It's to take back our right to heal. We, everything's been manipulated so we're exhausted and drained and life is at such a fast pace and there's so much over stimulus and we feed from it, but it's actually depleting us and making us sick. It's a big trick. It's a big trick. And when we slow down, we find patience and we honor stillness and we honor the feminine and we honor time for regeneration and we honor when to use the masculine energy. Woo, we restore balance through self and life has changed. And life is changing everywhere we look. Now I feel like I've talked a lot. You know what? Tomorrow I'll be in some witch's brew. Guys, it's the blue moon. Anything can happen. And we know this is going to be connected to a new moon promise. And we will be going with that message tomorrow. But today it's all about... We're going within to connect to beyond. But we're also going within to connect to our hearts. And for anyone who hasn't watched this message yet, it'll be down below with our last one. In the description, there'll be a link to it. Now, this is what they've shown me is happening. The masculine is connecting to the North Star. The North Star... And there's a clarity being offered. He's working with the High Priestess right now. The North Star and the High Priestess. And that is clarity. This is like clarity times clarity times clarity. And he's seeing that there's a strength here. And the strength is connected to nurturing. How things are nurtured here. How we actually grow through the earth. How we actually expand and it is from how we expand from the 5d and beyond to the 3d and back again there's a great connection here and it is connected to that eight pointed star in our clarity and what he is seeing and understanding with the high thanks to the high priestess is it is about his connection to the feminine this is being honored right now. He's understanding something about this. There's a connection to a heart. His, like all of our hearts right now and going within in remembrance. And remember feminine, you have masculine energy within you. And we know masculine, you have feminine within you. And this is connected to seeing that the feminine is healing from the, free healing from the dark. It, it, it is healing from the dark, the connection through the earth. It is the healing. And it is part of the masculine's truth. And he's honoring that. And what that's allowing is more tension to be eased and more motion to be restored. 
and we're amping up the creation through Metatron's cube and it has to do with wish fulfillment patterning we're using our new patterning and it's connected to we know the three of wands and we got the message of the three of wands that's our faith something is happening here something's shifting because we've created faith we've created with faith we've honored faith and it's through the masculine side and it has to do with the eight of cups connection to the two it's almost like like the best way to know to describe is like the universe the unspoken energies just came on up in and just bonk, bonk the masculine on the head and the masculine's just like what 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 i get it it's about the two of cups connection i got it i gotta go I gotta honor this. I gotta understand this. I gotta make sense of this. This has gotta shift. And this has to do with what's happening from the heavens to the earth. Because La Luna has been around school for the fool has been MIA, except for the other night when she was calling. And she's calling from my bedroom my bedroom window. And I went on out there and I had a little chat with her, okay? and she's spending time with she's spending time with the masculine with mars and mars is brighter than jupiter right now okay mars is brighter than jupiter what's happening here is the masculine is turned into the king of cups and this is connected to the lord of the underworld the scorpion transformation that is being offered right now and guys we're in the time of the great purge like this is the massivest purge i've ever seen and i've seen some purges around here this is the massivest purge i've ever had and this is how we go from the five of the six of cups so you could be purging like toxicity comes out in all kinds of ways like i know right now i'm going through it through body like i'm really purging toxins through body the most i ever have but this isn't allowing us to restore Remember from our last reading, the heart and mind connection. That is this. This is justice. Justice is happening right now like this. Okay? The balance between the heart and the mind and honor. You know, it's so beautiful to, to receive that message. And it's like, you know, the heart navigates through the undercurrents straight connected to like almost like the source and, you know, beautifully navigates its way through life. It's like the mind's like, nah, nah, nah. You know, from all over the place. I almost want to go have a nap right now, thinking about it. But what we're doing through this is we're restoring balance through the two of pentacles, through the earth, with the two of swords, through the mind. Through the twos. And what's happening is this is all causing the masculine to just vibrate and play out their authentic tune. It's like whatever that they're going through right now it's just like so deep it's like that ten of swords ending that they just they're having it and it's just like it's hit them with such a force that they automatically just have to be new self and gets hit them with such a force that they're connecting to the energy of the all the tricontra the tricontrahedron and being connected to that energy is just it's they've, they've forever been changed now forever been changed right now they're connected to their authentic tune it's like going out it's like it's going out and what this is doing is this is allowing the masculine to this is how the masculine is repairing the connection between him and the feminine nine of wands charge baby where we add the positive to the negative and this is now where it's playing out now this is really activating out within to the universe we're feeding this into the collective this is allowing us to restore balance, but this is the building of amp that we're amping up the building of new earth. And I always know when I'm getting close, guys, because my words start getting twisted because I'm I'm channeling so deep. It's I want to start speaking to you telepathically and my words all get amok because my mind is switching. OK, and it's connected to the moon. La Luna is helping us right now to achieve the Ten of Pentacles it is in new earth and it is building new earth and it is it is building our families and communities of new earth and right now this is connected to the honeybee this is connected to the honeybee guys the honeybee is dying right now big time gotta save the honeybee 
there's a massive connection to our journey and our path and saving the honeybee. Look it up. If you're called, please look it up. Look into the honeybee right now. Like as everything in life reflects back to you, lo and behold, I'm homeschooling with my son and we're learning about the honeybee and how fast that the bees are dying right now in school. How lucky, how blessed, positive charge to any negative situation within what's going on around here at School for the Fool, just with this alone. Guys, we're being reflected back to us, our past and why we're here, okay? All right, guys, this was a big message. Now, all the cards from the Starman Tarot are going back within the deck because we are gonna receive from this deck. I did not like the smell of this costume. It'll be removed. You know, that's another thing too. Like I am noticing because I've been doing all this purification work and I already have a pretty good uh, scent for toxins as it is. This actually smells toxic and it's just like, you know, yeah, things are fun, but it's not always about what it looks like. Sometimes it just is what it is about. It is what it is, right? And when we we spray things with toxins we color things with toxins we eat and ingest toxins it's not good for us it's not good for our chakras and that's what we came here to do baby that's what we're working with our energy but we're honoring how we have to take care of our body the patterning of how we have to take care of our body here in the 3d we're learning how to nurture thyself all right i was called also to have the egg here and it's connected to the transformation we will rise after this transformation through scorpio season and the purification we will rise let's see if i can get this to balance here mama mia no i can't okay mm. guys i love ginger so refreshing this ginger beer mm. let me get the right way makes me feel like i'm having something but i'm still taking care of my health Okay, I'm still cre I'm still choosing um, a higher vibe choice and it reflects in my patterning to create with. Now, I honor to restore the balance because you know what I find? Anything I've learned, if you try to add too many charges, there's no balance there and the universe just throws you a lot more negative. And you're like, why isn't this working out? I added all these positive charges. Not balanced. Just do, or do things where you feel called to do them and honor the negative, honor where it's uncomfortable, honor that you're shifting and the divine's got you. The divine has got you and honor that you're just shifting through time. But then put time away. Get lost within your healing within the moment. A lot of it is breath. What can you do to raise your vibe? Music, high vibe, liquid, snack, rest comfort what what to you no self okay we're going to the la tarot okay one of my favorites tarot de la nu and tarot de la nu the tarot of the night was speaking tarot i'm just guessing i'm just using my intuition who knows uh, Frick, sometimes I don't even know how I'll make it here. It's a true blessing and a true gift to be working with Source because, woo. Guys, I wish that, like, I see my dreams of my life just being so slowed down and no Ten of Wands burdens. And I could just sit here and how I could just laser focus and make this all. But, you know, life. Healing through life. Always trying to actively figure out how to take those ten of wands and put them back into the three. And that's where I find my faith. And that goes back to just like, what's the basics? Food. Warmth. Shower. Sleep. High vibe food. Talking to you guys. Okay. Okay. They showed me the Seven of Cups before I sat down because I wanted to get a reshuffle because I didn't like how those came out. But I know because they showed me the Seven of Cups that this is the message. We're seeing through our illusions. 
Because we've had an ending. The masculine has had an ending. But it was in order to reveal a truth connected to peace that has to do with new patterning through the earth and honoring the feminine. Everything we just discussed through channel messages. And it's connected to nine, the nine of cups, wish fulfillment. But it's through following our, our synchronicities and our signs and our connection to the light and working with higher self, working with the energy of Taurus. Okay? And that has to do with this magical space. This is the renovation. This is everything. The Ten of Cups is the renovate connected right now to the renovation we're doing within and our soul's expansion. And it's connected to our purpose, our path, our counterpart, and mission work and everything we came here to do. And we know that the Queen of Pentacles, look at that, she has the key. We're working through the earth. This is connected to our last message. We're following our synchronicities and signs to get to where we're going. She's going to open this She's going to open this door. She's going to open this gate. She's got the key. And it's within. And the key to her destiny is within. The feminine honoring this. So the masculine having a, an ending and honoring. Working with the feminine. The love. Seeing that this is where it's always been at. This has always been the answer. This has always been the key. And the feminine seeing. Oh, whoa. I got to go within me right now. That's the key, and I got to make the connections with it. And there's a connection there. There's a connection there. And it has to do with healing, we know. From the Five of Pentacles, the Luna is pushing us to heal from where we're, we've not been nurtured or supported here. But it's in order to have a regeneration, an unveiling, a recharge, an expansion from within to without. And it's balanced. The Knight of Swords is here. It's balanced. We have the White Wolf and the Black Bird and the Sword of Clarity. Where that, that's the double charge. That's being able to have the positive and negative all held within you. And then you act with it. Your life is forever changed. And it is connected to the Hierophant. There it is. The key. The feminine seeking within the unknown and the masculine expanding it. And it has to do with as above, so below. But it's like, you know, there's middle earth, there's lower earth and the upper earth. And it all coming together through us. And here it is where it happens. We're gifted something because we're moving away from what no longer serves us and we're being called towards the light and that's our expansion. There it is. Look at that. That's the nine of pentacles. We've expanded on our spiritual quest. We've walked through, we've come through to the other side, transformed. This is what we've set out to do. And look at us. Woo. We're looking gorgeous. And it's because... We put down what we needed to put down from the Ten of Wands. We said goodbye to what we needed to say goodbye to create a new. And that was connected to the Three of Swords. But now that actively allowed us to go on our quest here with the Page of Wands. We were active. We started, began to follow our desires, see what we needed to see. We started to be true self. And it was all thanks to La Luna. Well, Luna's doing something right now. And she is giving us clarity to our Five of Cups situations in order to get to the Ten of Pentacles. But right now, we're doing it through the Six of Cups because it's all about the two. And there it is. This is where we transform and we restore balance. From within to without. And something propels us forward here because we're creating, 
We're creating with our new patterning because we've healed from the five to the six. That's the page of cups. I saw five of cups, but that's because I could feel the connection. The page of cups, of course, the inner child is helping us to purify. And this has to do with our childhood. And this has to do with when we did not feel supported. This is where we did not feel supported. But our, it's like our inner self, the divine child is meeting with higher self right now in order to help us heal. And it's from the five of cups to actually activate this patterning. And this patterning will be activated through the heart chakra. All right, let's see what it's connected to. What is this? No, they're telling me to go here that the moon, this deck, they told me it's going to be our message from La Luna. And she has the message for us. And it's connected to what is being activated here. wild untamed wild and mysterious and there is our message that one flew out and went tumbling on over Once again, guys, look at the connection. Look at the symbolism. I love it.